Hi, now I'm doing a review about these, the, the iPhone 6 three months after I've owned it. Um, if you saw my other video when I bought it, I gave it the wraps up. Now I'm not too sure. Technically it's still a very good phone, I've got to say, I'm not going back on those words, it is a good phone to, to own. What I'm very disappointed though, very disappointed, is how fragile it is. Now this is the old iPhone 5 and I've dropped it so many times it's not funny. It did crack eventually, yes it did, but I had to really drop it hard on cement for it to really crack. Right, and when it, when it cracked, I said, all right, rather than fixing the damn thing, I'll buy an iPhone 6. And as you can see, if you look around, there's a lot of markings on, on the uh, metal casing around it. Uh, eventually it did crack just there. Not too bad, but anyhow, I just decided to upgrade to an iPhone 6. Now, technically, whether the, the iPhone 5 and 6, I really can't find any real features for me to say the iPhone 6 is better than the iPhone 5. I really cannot. Maybe the camera might be a little bit stronger and a bit more megapixels and things like that, but really, on a day-to-day -day basis, you wouldn't pick them. And I'll stand by those words even three months later. Um, where I am very disappointed, though, very disappointed, if you have a look at this phone, it's smashed. All right, it's smashed. And must I say, I dropped it, the first time I dropped it, it broke, the first time. And um, analyzing, analyzing the way um, Apple have made this phone, you can see on an angle that the glass actually wraps around to a degree, wraps around. So this little metal border doesn't protect the glass at all. So as soon as you drop it, it's hitting the, gra the glass. And what happened here, I dropped it, it hit, it smashed on this side, and as it hit the other side, it cracked on the other side. So you can see a nice big line on the top, so it cracked down there and down on this side as well. So I've got to say, you know, yes it does still work and all that, so you can you can sort of work through the glass even if it's broken, but it shits me, it really does, I'm sorry to say that, you know, excuse my French, but uh, you know, I, I, I really am disappointed, I really am disappointed that a company like Apple, um, you know, with all their billions of dollars and research and development and all that, and, you know, engineers and so, I, I really have to say that I really struggle to believe that they didn't test this to the, to the point of, of recognising that it would have been an issue, that it would have broken straight away. I have seen people actually bend it as well, because it's so thin, it tends to bend there if you put it in your back pocket. Um, but you know, really, it's, it's a very fragile uh, phone. And because it's very round and thin, it slips out of your hand. I've noticed that in these last a few months, you really got to be careful how you grip it. It, fl it slips out of your hand. Whether iPhone's done that deliberately, so you drop it and you smash it and you go and buy bloody another one, I don't know. But um, you know, it's um, I'm really disappointed f from the from the the fragility of the phone point of view. Technically, I'm, I'm very happy with it, all the features and all that. And that's no dramas at all. Um, but you know, I know of people that are, are waiting. They don't want the iPhone 6 for this very reason. So I think iPhone's kind of, Apple's kind of losing customers on the fact that they, they, they know that it's fragile. Um, they're probably selling a lot more phones to repeat customers who buy one, smash it, and have to buy another one. Um, you know, would I, would I advise people to buy one at this point in time? I really don't know. Great, te technically a great phone, just too fragile, really is. You, it, there's, there's, there's no second chance if you drop it, especially if you dro drop it on something hard like cement or asphalt or some tiles or something. It just breaks straight away, first, first drop. Now, the argument, to, um, should I put it in a case? Yes, I, you know, that's, that's a good argument. Why don't you put it in a case, a protective case and all that? Um, iPhones sell the phone as is. They don't recommend to put it in casings, as far as I understand. Um, you know, there's no point selling a really nice, thin, small, uh, light phone to end up putting it in a bulky case or something like that to protect it. There's no point in that. You might as well make it bigger and stronger and and, 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 and drop proof and shock proof from day one, straight out of, out of the box. Um, you know, I, I don't, 
I don't want to put it in a case, I like it as it is. Once you start putting your things in casing, they become bulky, you put them in your back pocket and they, they're just too big then. It's, it's a big phone as well, so you put them in casings and they become even bigger. Um, I should not need to put it in a casing. I didn't have this in a casing, and I've owned this for nearly a year and a half before I had to change it to it because it broke. And I'd like, I expect to do the same with this. I mean, these days, phones don't last long because we all tend to upgrade straight away. We want the latest and the greatest all the time. But, um, you know, it, I'm very disappointed. I think Apple should really invest in making f phones stronger, uh, you know, that last, and maybe even make them uh, waterproof as well as the Sonys and other phones out there. Um, as well, if you get caught in the rain or you drop it in a puddle or something, at least you know that it's going to be, I'm not saying it's going to be scuba diving waterproof, but at least something you can drop it in, in your sink or in a bathtub or, you know, and, and, it's, and, it's, uh, and it survives the encounter. Um, yeah, so, so there you go, um, iPhone 6. Um, I'm happy with it technically, but I'm not happy with it the way it's, it's just too fragile. I'm sorry. Um, it, it gets a, it gets a thumbs down from me, so now I'm pretty much going, got to go and buy another one now. So you know it's it's not the way it should be. You know products should be made properly, and you know especially a company like Apple, they should have known this, and I'm sure they do know this, and they probably you know um, rely on the fact that people are going to be buying phones over and over again because they're breaking them too too easily. So there you have it, three months later, the iPhone 6, um, I don't know, from 1 to 10 I'd give it a 4. It's up to you if you want to think about buying it, just you know, have a look at my other video, um, see what I thought at that, that time there, and now this, this, you know, three months later, I'm, I'm really disappointed. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Check out my other videos. I've got a lot of other videos regarding mechanical stuff, motorcycles and cars and food and all that kind of stuff there. So just check out my uh, YouTube uh, channel on the Motor Gadsler channel. And I um, hope this has been educational for you. Thanks and see you later from Melbourne, Australia. Bye.